All right, guys, welcome back to more Nino Kuni. This is actually day two of me playing this game. Usually, I would have played this game a lot longer yesterday, but the thing is, I actually got a call for a job interview next week. So, <laughs> I was so damn excited, I just couldn't play the game no more. But anyway, I got a job interview next week, and it's going to be pretty good because I can still continue to do this and then do this other job because it's only going to be part-time. But it's... It, it, I'm just excited. So anyway, what I'm about to do, I'm about to crack open this Sobe. <sighs> citrus energy. Ooh, this is good. Mm. Sobe citrus energy. You, you guys got to try that one. That's pretty good. But anyway, let's do this. <laughs> let's get back into it. I had to attend to personal matters yesterday, so hopefully you guys can forgive me for like the lack of content, but whatever, let's do this. A teeny bopper. Watch this! We got this, Oliver. You know what? Let's send out Hero. Here goes! Get him, Hero! You got this! There you go. And my cat just came over here to lay next to me. And I gotta say, right now, this is like the perfect time for me to be playing this game. Like, it's like the per the perfect atmosphere right now, cause it's it's like really gloomy outside, and it's like about to rain or snow. And I find these days to be like the most perfect to play RPGs or play video games in general. Cause as a kid, when it was sunny outside, I used to go outside all the time until it was like raining. And Let's then if it was it. raining that day, I would just sit in the house and play games. But I like this atmosphere. It's really relaxing. Like when it's raining and such, it's really relaxing to play games when it's on a rainy day. I just find those days like be the best. I don't know. Maybe it's just the atmosphere, or maybe I just like being gloomy. Maybe I'm that emo kid. Maybe I'm just that emo. You guys just don't know me yet. I'm that emo. I like gloomy days. <laughs> But for real though, this is like the perfect day to be playing this game. It couldn't be no better after what I heard yesterday. But anyway, let's do this. What the hell? Crikey, I knew there was something I forgot to tell you about familiars. What's that? This is important, Ollie boy, so listen carefully, all right? I showed you how your familiars can use tricks, didn't I? Well, as the little fellas get stronger, they'll start learning new ones. If you want to see what tricks your familiars have up their sleeve, choose friends and familiars from the main menu. Tricks are a little different from magic. Each individual trick fills a single command slot, you see. Press triangle when you're in the... Ah, okay. Which reminds me, a familiar can only remember a maximum of eight tricks at any... This is just like Persona. Q was right. <laughs> the, the familiars are something from the heart, and then they can only learn eight moves. <laughs> this is so much like Persona with the familiars. In that aspect, at least. Meaning, if you want to learn, if you want them to learn a new one, you'll have to make them forget one of their old ones. Bit of a pain, like, but at least you can teach them old, familiar, new tricks. Oh, cool. That's cool. Anyway, the new. Oh, wait. I thought they said old tricks to new familiar. Okay, never mind. I read that wrong. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Okay, that's cool. Now let's check that out. Actually, that sounds pretty dope. Tricks. Okay, so he learns something new at level 10, then again at level 20. It looks like he learns some ultimate attack at level 50 because it has a fireball next to it. And then he has sandblast, pebble pelt. <laughs> Can we look at what he's going to learn next? Miracle move, slash dance. A blurred barrage of random slashes deals physical damage to all foes. How the hell do you do the miracle move? Oh, you know what? The miracle moves probably happen when you get the golden, the golden orb at the end of battle. Not the end, but in boss battles. I wonder if you can do miracle moves in just random battles Come like on. this. <laughs> Did that say whippersnapper? Come here, old whippersnapper. Let me set you aflame. Fireball! Completely wrecked that guy. Fireball! Uh, you can't mess with me. Get smacked up. Get smacked up. Get smacked up. 
let's let's do this. Like the monsters have funny names. Like we were fighting bartenders, we was fighting roofies. Like it, it didn't make any sense. Like what? <laughs> it's like I'm in the club, dude. Fighting bartenders and roofies. Like this don't make no sense. Loaf of bread. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, here we go. Was that another whipper snapper? A teeny bopper. Watch this. All right, I'm about to bop this bopper. Fireball. Okay, they they got a cooldown effect on the fireball. It's not that long though. Uh. You good, Oliver? You good, bro? The music's too good. Okay. I'm just so lucky to be playing these games that just so happen to have these amazing Come soundtracks, on. man. This game has an amazing orchestral soundtrack. It's so good. Whipper Snapper, set them off. Oh, we ran out of MP. Damn. Alright, let's get that MP. Before it disappears. Ow! He two pieced me! Ouch. No, oh, we need to heal. Damn, okay. He has a major cooldown on that. Nice! Look at that. That's so awesome. I had to cancel out and block that. Did Drippy do that? Did Drippy find me some magic? That's what it looked like. He came in and dropped some magic for me. Or the magic just came out of nowhere. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Level 4 Oliver. Doo -doo -doo. What is this? Waterfalls? This is a waterfall. Remember, Oliver, don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to, sir. <laughs> Save your progress. Yes, I shall. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Do 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 do. When TLC had all three members. <laughs> Sad tragedy, TLC. Oh, this is the part of the demo, huh? All right, let me get ready. Let me take a sip of this citrus drink. <sighs> what is it? Listen, man, someone's coming. But I don't. It's him, it's the flipping guardian! Get the flip out the way! Oh man, we gotta get the flip out of here, man! Oh man! Oh no! What the flip, man? <laughs> and that teeny bopper got bopped real good. The guardian of the woods, steadfast defender of something. I couldn't read it all. It disappeared like very quick. All right. So I, pretty much we want to stick to fireball. Fireball. Windfall. Niggas, this looks serious, Ali boy. You best defend yourself. I was just about to do that, but they tugged away from me and just popped up the tutorial. Flipping Godmon! Windfall! Nice! Nice one, Ali boy. This tidy. Defending against big moves like that can earn you nice little bonuses as well. So when he starts building up a nasty looking number, be sure to man I know this. Fireball! Let's go get that. Damn health. Ah, you missed. Fireball. See, now I gotta. What I want to do now is probably switch over to him, since he uses more physical attacks than I do. Is he about to do something? He's just sitting there for a while. He attacks faster than all of them. He probably does more physical damage than all of them. <gasps> Is that a gold glimmon? 
that little beauty will store all your HP for you. And not only that, it'll also let you do a miracle move that doesn't use any MP tidy. But they do, they don't hang around forever. Hurry up and grab your olive boy. Ouch! Supercharge! Ouch! I activate my trap card! Slash this! It will attack your life points directly for the rest of your life points. I win the game, Guardian. So luck next time. <laughs> Just as I planned. Do -do 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 Ooh, we got like two level ups each. And now we're on the same level. Spirit of the Woods. Oh, what is that? Oliver reached level 5. Hero reached level 5. Hero learned Sandblast. <laughs> he learned Sandblast, huh? You obtained a page describing the Guardian of the Woods. Oh man, I was looking at that damn book off camera and it's so detailed. It like has like so much information in it. Crikey, that was close, mom. The Guardian, he headed toward the deepest part of the wood. Do you think he's back to normal now? Your guess is as good as mine, Mon. But we're looking as high as he's gone, at least. I reckon he'll probably take some time to get out of his head together. And get out of his head. Get his head together, and then he'll be right back to the old Guardian. But what made him go all screwy like that? You don't think it was? Of course it flippin' was. Had Shadar written all over it. We best watch out our backs. If we visit any more forests... Saying that, you get guardians everywhere. Anyway, we did what we came to do. We best get back to see old tree face, eh? Sure, let's go. Let's get the flip out of here. The serenity of the guardian wizard's heart has unlocked a story in the wizard's companion. Unguardian. <laughs> nice trophy. Obtained a new tale of wonder. That's flipping awesome. Hmm. You did well to count the Guardian of the Woods. And I found what I was looking for. But first, a gift. My way of thanks. Gee. You were on a roll, by your man. I entrust to you one of my closest companions, the Telling Stone. His knowledge of our world arrives even my own. I thought he might help you on your journey. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, he will tell you anything you wish to know. <laughs> and the other thing, the locket. This is what you came here for. So we can mend his ah, broken heart, right? The guard's broken heart. It is a vessel heart. for fragments of the human heart. Ah, yes. To rescue the heartbroken, you will need the locket and the spells required to use it. I will give you those as well. Thank you so much, So awesome. Old Father, Father Oak is so awesome. Such a well-mannered child. Unlike some, I could mention. <laughs> well, I, uh, all right, all right. Ta, backface! Hmm. Some things are as unchanging as the forest. No matter. You had best be on your way. Now, boy. You must come and see me from time to time. And tell me of your travels. <laughs> I look forward to hearing of your progress. You know what? Maybe that'll be like a side mm -hmm. quest. Yes, sir. We'll have Let's to do be that. Off, I bet you one of these side quests requires us to go to back here. Dell and mend a broken heart. Okay. Back to Ding Dong Dell Dilly Do. The Telling Stone is now accessible from the main menu. You'll turn the locket. You received a page describing the Take Heart spell. <laughs> you have received a page describing the Give Heart spell. Alright, now let's look at the Telling Stone. Learn how to play the game and other use. So this is basically tutorial. Progress report. Wizards Companions completion 6% done. We are nowhere near completing this game, man. <laughs> Alright, dangerous places. The Deep Dark Wood. Percentage, percentage explored, 89%. Oh, look at that. We got different continents to go to. I knew this couldn't be the only continent we were going to explore. Alright, let's look at that. We can't enlarge it? Nope. But what does it mean by the blue, green, purple? Apparently there's no green or purple chest, but there are 
red and blue chest here. So let's try to look for the rest of those chests here before we leave. Choose a criterion to search by. How do you tame? Huh. Species tamed. How do you tame? And I'm guessing like taming basically allows you to use them as a familiar, right? Training familiar signs. Let's look that up. So it seems you wish to learn more about creature signs. Well, make yourself comfortable and I shall begin. Each and every creature in this world has a sign denoting its alignment with one of the four celestial bodies. These are the sun, the moon, the star, and the planet. Should two otherwise identical creatures have different signs, they will, ha they will each behave somewhat differently. Such difference reveal themselves most starkly when creatures interact with one another. Each sign has a given relationship with this counterpart, you see. Sun is stronger than the moon, but vulnerable to star. Star is stronger than sun, but vulnerable to moon. Moon is stronger than the star, but vulnerable to sun. So sun, sun beats moon. Sun beats moon, star beats sun, moon beats star, and then... What does the moon beat? Or the moon beats the star, the sun beats the moon, and then the star beats the sun. This is going to be a little bit hard to get down but I'll probably understand it later I shall bring the lessons to a close right, it might take a little a little bit longer to get used to the different elements or not the elements yeah I guess you can say elements can we talk to the uh, tree again Oh, I do so love the chat. Visit me again and tell me about your travels, won't you? If you tell me a nice story, who knows? Perhaps I will reward you with something. Ah, so we do have to come back here later. Awesome. Alright then. So let's explore the rest of the deep dark wood. Apparently, if we explore this whole map, we might get something out of it. Like, I don't know. Oh, by the way, good thank you, son. Which way haven't we been to yet? It looks like we haven't really explored all that down there. They want us to leave to the left, but let's go. Or they want us to leave to the right, but let's go over here. Uh, we're going here anyway, okay? Calm down, Judy. Calm down. Calm me later. Alright? Alright, uh, you wanna pick a fight with me, man? We gotta fight Jabber. Jabber versus Team Bobber. Alright. Yo, hero. Ooh, Shank. You don't want none of this? You don't want none of this, boy? Get out of here. Go on, hero. There you go. Uh, now you're doing some damage. Better than the one damage you were dealing out before. No. How do you bring that up? So we go to the right here. Ah, oh, carnivore! A carnivorous plant! Get out of here. Oh, you know, I should just set him on fire. Oh well. Oh, what a douche. I'm blinded. You can't do that yet. So if you cancel out of an attack, or if you cancel out of doing something, you have to wait for the cooldown. Okay. This makes sense. So you gotta pay attention to what you do, man. Ooh, Sunday. There's a blue chest. Seems to be still by some kind of magic. Oh, what the hell, man? We can't even get a chance anyway. Will you give me a hit? Oh, my goodness. You didn't even give me no help at all. Probably before. 96% explored. Alright, I see the other part we gotta go to. This might become like, extremely annoying. If there's anything like Star Ocean to the end of time, we had to explore the whole map just to get, like, I think it was, like, some items you actually get for filling out the entire map. I just hope it's not like this in this game. Just for 100% completion. I found that to be extremely boring. Wait a second. I can see the chest that way, too. <laughs> Ouch. Run away! Run away! No, I'm such a massive fire. Huh? Oh, not today. Not today, sir. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen a chest, too. Yup. Right, let's check out the damn telling stone. Dangerous places. Four out of four. Yup, we explored the whole place. Alright, now, like, so right now, what should we be doing? Alright, so we just gotta go back to Ding Dong Dale. Okay. Alright, now, let's look at the map again. And I completely went the other way, didn't I? Well, it's cool, though. Alright, so let's speed this up real quick. So my wants told me the world was gonna ruin. I ain't the sharpest student in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb, but seen her in a coming shape of an L on your forehead. Oh my goodness! Ruby, help! Don't just stand there. Help me, bro. Ah! Oh, you know I did that. Du -du 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 -du. Goodbye. You served up. You served up, boy. <laughs> All right. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Do do do. 
Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, he's blinded too. There you go. So it doesn't matter if he's blinded. If one of you familiar is blinded, you become blinded too. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. So we are finally on our way back to Ding Dong Dell. Like I, I'ma love getting out of dungeons just to hear this. I'm re after I beat a dungeon, I'm gonna be rewarded with just hearing this tune. That's all I need, man. Anyway, let's get back to Ding Dong Dell. Oh man, that thing is gonna catch up with us. I got him from the back, didn't I? All right, time to find some. Time to fight some Rufus. Here goes. I summon Hero of the Dark Void. Yep, you're dead. You're next. You're next. Ear splitter. Split that. See, that's strange. Now that I have a familiar, I'm actually running into more than just one enemy. Have you noticed that? It's so good, man. I'm sorry. What the hell is that? It's like a roly poly, oly. A roly poly, oly. Or the bottles. We can do this. I was close, and I bet you he's weak against fire, cause he's a fucking insect. Oh, he's not an insect, but he's a snake, and snakes are generally weak against fire. Oh my goodness! Wake up, wake up, Oliver. I don't know about you, but I'm about to have me some sleepy fowl tonight. Ride. It's gonna taste like chicken too, I bet. Let's get the freaking Ding Dong Dell. And I'm pretty sure this guy isn't just broken hearted. It's just because this dude is severely depressed because his wife broke up with him. Just like every other dude. We can't cure that, man. <laughs> Time can only heal that. <laughs> this guy hasn't had his heart stolen. He's just severely depressed. He got to pay child support. Wife divorced him, man. Took half of everything. Took his Looks house. Like he's still the worse for wear, huh? <laughs> Mr. Drippy, we have to help him. Right, though, Ollie boy. I better explain how it's done, then, innit? First thing you'll need to do is to take the locket Treeface gave you and fill it with the piece of heart our friend is missing. Got it. Uh, the piece of heart? That's right. One of the bits we're all made up of deep down. The bits we're made up of? I don't understand. How can I put it? Ah, just give it a go. You'll soon work it out, man. First off, what that guard's missing is a drop of good old-fashioned enthusiasm. Find some and give it to him, and he'll be right as rain. Okay, but where do I find enthusiasm? <laughs> well, now, feast your eyes on that other guard there. He's got more get-up-and-go than a sack of squirrels. If he hasn't got some enthusiasm to spare, I'm a monkey's uncle. Ask nicely, and I'm sure he'll give you a lend of it. Okay. Sure. I'll try my best. Alright, we were trying to ask this guy before, right? And it looks like everybody spread up a little bit and started talking to each other. What's going on here? They can't keep us all waiting like this. It doesn't look like any of us are going anywhere in the near future. I wonder why they're not letting anyone in. I swear that girl over there keeps looking at me. I hope they keep us out here a little longer. They keep saying the same thing. Alright, he must be talking about this girl. Oh dear, I do hope they let us in soon. I need to buy the ingredients for my husband. Favorite dinner. Oh, excuse me, sir. I wonder if you can do us a favor. I wish I could, I really do, but I'm afraid I can't open this gate without my colleague's permission. Oh no, it's not that. We just want to borrow some of your enthusiasm. 
Well, if it's enthusiasm you after, I got plenty to spare. Take as much as you want. Thank you, sir. Oh, Mr. How do I get the enthusiasm out of this? <laughs> I was just about to say, like, how do you go about getting someone's enthusiasm? Look at the pages old tree page gave you for your book. It's the spell called Take Heart. You need to cast first. Where is it? Take heart. I still want to know what the hell for like, how do I get other familiars? They haven't explained that yet. Alright, take heart. And then I gotta use give heart on the other guy, I bet. I wonder if he'll calm down a little. Tidy! Looks like you got yourself a locket full of enthusiasm. Now, you've just got to give it to our friend over by there. Okay, here goes. Alright, now he wants me to use give heart, I bet. Nothing happens. What? I guess I gotta talk to him. So we need to give this guard the enthusiasm we got from his friend, huh? That's right, Ollie boy. The spell you'll need this... Yep, I assume so. But don't get them mixed up, whatever you do. <laughs> don't hurry, Mr. Drippy. Give heart is the one of the repairing broken hearts. I remember that. You'll need to choose a piece of heart you want to restore from your locket. Of course, you only got one in there at the moment, so even you can't mess this up. Go on, give that guard. I wonder if you can mess that up in the future, or if they just prevent you from doing that. Give heart. Enthusiasm. Like, what is this but Whoa! Magic! Magic! You know what happens to people with magic shit? Dar, run! Uh, tidy! Looks like he's back in the land of the living! Shadar is coming! What's happening? Where am I? Well, 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 you're back with us, I see. Yes, I, I feel so strange. As if a weight has been lifted from my heart. I feel better. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I was worried about you. I'm sorry. I wasn't myself. But I'm back now. And ready to work harder than ever. <laughs> well then. These fine people have all come to visit our great kingdom. I think we'd better let them in. <laughs> Indeed we had. <laughs> this way, everybody. Why would they only give one of the guards permission to be able to bring all the people in? That's weird. But anyway, I can't thank you enough, but I'm sure you'll receive your fair share of merit stamps for, for what, what the merit stamps? What the hell? For performing such a heroic feat. I'm guessing that's like the currency of this world. You mean you help me without even thinking of the merit stamps you earn? You have a merit stamp card, don't you? They're used to collect stamps awarded for helping those in need. If you don't have one, you should visit Swift Solutions in town to pick one up. Listen to me, rabbit and on. I have to get this gate open. That's what you're waiting for, isn't it? Please do, sir. Tidy, we can finally go inside. Drippy drip drip. Finally. We defeated our first boss. Well, I wouldn't call that a boss. Sure, like more of a mini boss type thing. Wow, this, this town is bustling. We're finally here. We're finally in Ding Dong Dell. Indeed we are, Ali Boy. There were a few unseen snags in the way, I'll admit. But all's well that ends well, and I was going to take you to see old Treeface eventually anyway. Right oh. On with the wand hunt. The king of this place knows a spell or two. Let's see if we can help us, shall we? A real life king? Sure, I guess that means we'll we should head over to that old palace over there, huh? Ah, oh, we can't save here, can we? Oh, yes, we can. We can save any anywhere on the world map, and we can save anywhere in a town. But we can't save anywhere in a dungeon. That makes sense. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a short break, and then once I get done with that break, I guess I'll return with more Nino Kuni. So I'll see you guys a little bit later.